वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम नाइन डैश थर्टी सिक्स दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर नाइन दैट इज स्ट्रेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाई आर सी हेबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज द स्क्वेयर स्टील प्लेट हैज ए थिकनेस ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इंच एंड इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एज लोडिंग शोन डिटरमाइन द प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस इज डिवेलप इन द स्टील सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ स्क्वेयर प्लेट स्टील प्लेट दैट इज फोर बाई फोर इंच एंड दिस थिकनेस इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इंच and that is acted upon by age loading of 16 pound per inch so you have to determine the principal stresses that is developed in the steel so we will solve it by using two method stress transformation method and by mohr circle so you can solve it by any of the one method so i will solve it by first stress transformation equation ओके सो यू कैन सी दिस इज एज लोडिंग दैट इज गिवन एज सिक्सटीन पाउंड इन पर इंच सो इन आर्डर टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू लोड सो वी विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस सिक्स विद दिस लेंथ फोर इंच एंड दैट विल कन्वर्ट दिस लोड इन टू अ शेयर लोड विच इज इक्वल टू एफ एस एंड दैट एफ एस विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन मल्टीप्लाई बाई फोर दैट विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फोर पाउंडस clear so we have this this fs this fs will be equal to 16 pounds per inch multiply by 4 inch will give you 64 pound and this is the horizontal shear force now to find the shear stress so shear stress is equal to shear force divided by shearing area so shear force is 64 pounds and we have sharing area which is this one this 4 multiply by this thickness 0.5 this is the sharing area as so i will write 4 multiply by 0.5 and this will be inch square inch and when you simplify it it will give you uh, 64 divide by this will be equal to 2 and that will give you 32 pound per square inch or you can say this shear stress is 32 psi which is pound per square inch so this is the shear stress okay so you can see that let this is your horizontal axis clear this is your y axis clear so this this shear will be this shear stress will be uh, tau of x y and this will be tau of this will be tau of x y tau of x y this will be tau of y x and same is the case this will be tau of y in the direction of x and this will be tau of x y now you can see here we do not have normal stress so sigma x is equal to 0 we do not have stress in y direction so sigma y is equal to 0 and we have only shear stress which is tau of x y and that is plus 32 psi so you can see that we will use stress transformation equation for finding the principal stresses so principal stresses and principal stress is we know that principal stress is sigma 1 comma 2 is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus minus under the root sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of xy square so just put the value we do not have 0 plus 0 divided by 2 will be 0 plus minus same is the case 0 minus 0 divided by 2 whole square plus 32 square clear that is sigma 1 comma 2 so this will be equal to 0 plus minus 0 plus 32 square and that will give you plus minus 32 square so we will get sigma 1 comma 2 principal stress is sigma 1 comma 2 will be equal to plus minus 
32 and the unit will be PSI. So it means that sigma 1 is plus 32 PSI and sigma 2 is equal to minus 32 PSI. So these are the principal stresses that we have calculated are required principal stresses. Now we'll find the location of this principal stresses that at which angle it will lie or act. So for that we have formula tangent of 2 theta p. Theta p is the plane or which this principal stress x and we have this formula tau xy divided by sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2. So put the value 32 divided by 0 minus 0 divided by 2 will be equal to 32 over 0 and we will get infinity. So tangent of 2 theta p is equal to infinity. So from here we will get 2 theta p is equal to tangent of infinity and by using calculator when you will find it so you will get 2 theta p will be equal to 90 degree so it means theta p is equal to 45 degree so this is theta p1 so this is plus 45 or you can say theta p is also equal to minus 45 degree so this is theta p2 and this is theta p1 and that is the answer now we'll solve this question by using more circle so again you can see by Mohor circle. So for Mohor circle, we need the coordinate sigma x, comma tau of x y, and another coordinate sigma y, comma minus tau of x y. So sigma x is equal to zero, and tau of x y is plus thirty two, and sigma y is zero and minus thirty two. So what we will do is that we will draw. A horizontal line or axis as well as vertical axis clear so this is sigma and here we will plot the on y-axis we plot the vertical let each division is of 10 this will be minus 10 minus 20 minus 30 so our first point will be this one let this is minus 32 this coordinate is 0 comma minus 32 and this coordinate is 0 comma plus 32 okay i will draw it above 0 comma plus 32 and keeping this point o as a center and draw a circle that is passing through these two points you can draw it by using compass i don't have so i have to adjust it Clear. Okay, so you can see that this stress is here. This one will be equal to sigma one, and this one will be equal to sigma two. And this oh, this let this is point A, and this is point B. So you can see sigma one is equal to O A, which is equal to radius of this circle. And sigma 2 is equal to OB, which is again equal to minus R. So what, why we will find this R? So R for this Mohor circle is equal to tau of uh, XY, or you can say that not, not tau of XY. That is sigma X minus sigma Y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of XY square. So put the value 0 minus 0 divided by 2 whole square plus 32 square under the root. This will give you R. So R will be equal to 32. So if you put it over here, sigma 1 is equal to plus 32 PSI and here sigma 2 is minus R. So minus 32 PSI. Okay. And the plane of you can see this line is define the state uh, this line defines the state of stress so for getting the principal planes so if i 
take this angle this angle in counterclockwise theta 2 in in clockwise r as anti clockwise if i take it 2 theta p 2 theta p1 let this is the angle in counterclockwise direction 2 theta p1 that is equal to 90 degree so theta p1 will be equal to 45 degree or if you want to take this angle that is counterclockwise uh, clockwise so this is again 2 theta p2 so 2 theta p2 is minus 2 theta p2 is equal to minus 90 degree so theta p2 is equal to minus 45 degree and if you want to draw it on a state of stress element so let uh, let me draw it this is initial x-axis this is its y-axis and at angle of 45 degree that this is 45 counterclockwise theta p1 that is 45 degree over here and this is your y-axis transform y dash x dash y dash and if you draw the element like this clear so what we will get is sigma 1 in this direction is 32 psi this is theta 1 sigma 1 and sigma 2 is minus 32 so it will be compressed here which is 32 ps i and sigma 1 is plus 32 ps i this is minus and you can see that by using both methods you will get the same answer sigma 1 is 32 minus and sigma 2 is minus 32 here sigma 1 is 32 and minus 32 and these are the principal planes clear and that was all about this problem 9-36 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching